what's up guys welcome to today's video so guys in today's video i'm going to work with you a couple of things so make sure you pay attention right so today what you will learn today is the four types of traders and which one you should choose all right so make sure you watch this video to the end i'm going to walk you through all of them and they, you know it will help you to determine which kind of trader you are or which one is able to suit your trading style right so that you can be able to pull it up so make sure you watch to the end the, so here we have there are four types of traders the first one here is we have the scalper the scalpers which is what so scalp traders right then we have the second one day traders the third one is swing traders and the fourth one is position traders so these are the four types of traders that we have in the market you know so i'm going to be giving you details of each of them so that you'll be able to understand what each of them means right so in scalp trading the time frame that is suitable for them that the time frame you normally trade scalp traders is what is one minute to 30 minutes they spend their time looking for opportunity in what one minute and um, 30 minutes within this range all right then the second thing you need to understand is that the whole trade for only one to uh, one minute or maybe seconds within minutes or seconds all right the whole trade within minutes or seconds they get out of the once they press a trade they just hold it within minutes or trade or, or seconds then they will see the trade in terms of scalp trader right then the third one is what their potential target is 5 to 50 pips once they are able to capture up to 5 to 50 within that range it's not it's not like it's specific these uh, numbers that we are seeing here but it's within that range once you're able to capture 20 pips 15 pips 10 pips say, some people 10 pips 5 pips they are out of the market right so this group of people is considered to be what scalp traders then moving on guys we have day traders so day traders here they normally trade between the 30 minutes to four hours right h4 here is what four hours ym 30 is 30 minutes so within this range it's not like specific but within this particular range is the time frame that day traders normally trade with and they hold trades for up to a full day you can you know within before the end of the day they close their trades that's why they are considered as tra day traders and their profit target within the range of 20 to uh, 100 pips just capture maybe 20 to 100 if within that range they are out of the market once they are able to capture a particular you know pips in the market you know it's not specific it's not guaranteed but this is just the range on average what they're trying to capture within the day and they close their day their trades within that day this group of people are considered to be what will be day traders all right so moving on guys we have another group of people that is called swing traders their whole trade their, their, their time frame is within four hours the look opportunity to enter from like one hour so just within that range then the whole trade for multiple days you know swing trader whole trade for multiple days or, or even weeks you understand before they can be able to take their profit all right so and their potential targets you know from 100 to 200 it's not like specific but within this range on average that is what they are targeting to capture in the market this group of traders is considered to be what to be a swing trader then the last one which is number four is the position traders they, they look for opportunity maybe read analysis from daily time frame to monthly time frame right then they hold their trade for several weeks and months even years all right some groups do that and they're trying to capture it pips you know the, the profit target is what the potential profit is more than what 200 they are not looking for small 5 pips 10 pips or 100 pips it's people are looking to take a position and hold it for weeks months or even years all right so this group of people capture a lot of uh, pips in the market even 500 thousands of pips in the market before they exit their trade then moving on guys we the last one here we have here is when ask which is which one to choose right so you know th this particular one is all depends on you right you need to do what you need to practice each of them to choose 
the one that what that resonates with you. You know, it doesn't. It's not like if you know there is a specific one you must choose. Or sometimes it's good for you to specialize in a particular area so that you can be able to be master of it, not trading all of them. Right. So in terms of which one to choose, you need to practice. Sometimes if you know you have a nine to five job or you are working, you don't have all the time to do analyze the market all day long. Then you should be trading in a higher time frame, which is what you should consider swing trading. All right, swing trading. If you know you have other things you are doing, but if you know all you do is trading, then you can consider taking a look at scalping the types of trading. But nevertheless, if you have the time, you should be able to practice each of them so that you'll be able to know which one because some people are very good in scalping, while some other people are very good in holding trade for long term. All right. So by the time you practice, you'll be able to know, okay, look at the one that resonates with you guys. So that is what I have for you. Don't forget, if you find value in this video, click the subscribe button and also like the video and leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you.